Good morning. Hope you're fine and dandy. Hope everything's good in your world. It's Julie here from Fruity Fit. Thought I would just drop in, see how things are with you, just let you know what we're up to in Fruity Fit and just give you a quick insight into some of the things that we've been doing. So life is, is continuing and we've got many sessions going on. It's very busy in Fruity Fit at the moment. We've got our online sessions continuing. They've proven to be really successful over the lockdown. A lot of the ladies finding that, you know, that flexibility of being able to fit them into busy lifestyles has, has really worked for them. For others, they're absolutely loving the outdoor sessions, that opportunity to really start the day off fresh, get some fresh air in, hopefully some sun, some vitamin D, socialise with people, obviously on a social distancing basis. So they've been really great, fabulous scenery that we're basing the outdoor sessions in, beautiful gardens, I have to say, beautiful. So that's been really great. And then in the pipeline, we will be moving to indoor sessions in the not too distant future, uh, which will also give that private, intimate space where we can work very closely with individuals uh, in small groups and enable them to continue their fitness journey too. So, so loads happening, it's really exciting, really exciting. And I think the thing that um, I really love about it is the principle behind Fruity Fit is that it's about you. It's all about you and your journey. And where are you on your journey and your fitness and your mobility and what do you want to achieve? You know, the bottom line is we all know that fitness is good for our health. You know, how many ladies do I speak to that say, when I ask them the question, why do you want to do this? Well, because it's good for my health. You know, they, I don't think there's a day that goes past at the moment where there isn't a piece of uh, media that's telling us why fitness is good for our health. And uh, yeah, we all know that. We all know that it lowers the risks of type two diabetes, uh, helps with blood pressure, the obvious things about improving the amount of muscle mass that we have as we go through life and and hey muscle mass muscle mass reduction isn't just something that happens later in life we don't just we can get into that place into that mindset of thinking oh that's later on in my life that that I'll become in that place and I need to give that consideration no because actually that starts from the age of 30 and and every decade that passes in your life your muscle mass is reducing and and the importance of that is sometimes I think we fail to recognize that our muscles are really supporting our joints and that's why you get joint issues later in life or one of the reasons is because they're not getting that support from our muscles so loads of reasons to do exercise and and then of course there's all the other parts about our mental health the impact it has on hormones in our brain uh, that impacts the feelings of depression the feeling is feelings of being feeling good so loads of reasons but sometimes we put in place barriers we think there are barriers to prevent us from doing the exercise. You know, that barrier might be, we don't feel that we're fit enough or that we're mobile enough or we might be recovering from an injury. So I just want to demonstrate, one of the things that we do on the sessions is the back to basics session. So the back to basics session is very much about making sure that one, you're doing the exercise in a form that, uh, gets the best out of the exercise for you, but also prevents you in incurring any further injuries, if you've had injuries or at least preventing you from having injuries full stop. And the second reason for doing back to basics is because quite often we look at somebody doing body weight training and we think, I can't do that. I was having a conversation only this week with a couple of ladies in the outdoor session and we were talking about push-ups and how we often have in our minds that we can't do a push-up, but actually, you know, Michelle just recently in the group just has demonstrated so perfectly that with that consistent 
doing the work, putting the effort in, and that effort may only be, you might just put five minutes in every day, that over time you can go from doing push-ups on a wall to full-blown push-ups on your toes on the floor, and that, that is an incredible achievement in so many respects. So today I'm just going to show you um, how to do one of the exercises called a plank to punch. So that's a bit of an odd exercise or a bit of an odd name. Um, so normally a plank to punch is done on the floor. You're down here on the floor in a plank position here and you're punching out in front of you like this. But actually you can do that on the wall. So a lot of exercises, a lot of body weight exercises that you do on the floor can be done on the wall. So a plank to punch is exactly the same on the wall. So you want to make sure your feet are shoulder width apart, your arms are shoulder width apart, your hands need to be underneath your shoulders so that they're well supported. If you have problems with wrist injuries, or weakness in your wrists, there's two things you can do there. You can either splay your hands out so that the weight of your body is going across your hands, or you can come up onto your knuckles in this position, or with a plank, you can come down onto your elbows into this position. So instantly you can then break that exercise down so that it becomes you versus you. You're adapting that exercise for you. So, back into how we should be standing, so we're in this position, we're looking forward, we're keeping our back straight, we're engaging our core, we're holding our stomach muscles tight, we're keeping our shoulders back and our back straight. And then when you're in that position, you're then punching up above your head. Obviously, if you're lying on the floor doing this, uh, you're gonna be punching out forwards, but if you're doing it on the wall, you're just punching up towards the ceiling, bringing your hand back down and punching up to the ceiling. Now, if you're looking at this and thinking, well, do you know what? How on earth is that gonna exercise anything? I could do that. I don't see that that is anything particularly challenging. Then what you could do is actually make it slightly harder and actually bring your legs out is one thing or do it on one leg. So you're changing the dynamics of the muscles and you're here punching out in the same manner. If you're doing it on one leg, you need to make sure that you're stable, that you're not rocking from one side to another, but this changes the dynamics with the muscles so that you're making it that much harder. If you decide that that's still too easy, then you can break that exercise down and you could do it on a chair. So you're here on a chair, you're still in the plank, plank position, and you're punching out in front. So you're just in this position, just punching out. You'll notice when I punch, I punch in the same direction as my shoulder so that it's an upward movement. So that does mean that if you're here, you're going in that direction out in front. It's almost like you're trying to do a Superman impression. So, so that's, that's a good way of remembering it. So that gives you a bit of an insight into one of the exercises we broke down this week in our Back to Basics session. And of course with a plank, there are so many exercise variations you can do with that. And why would you do a plank? It's an amazing all body exercise. You know, it strengthens your shoulders, your core, that's really important because that strengthens your spine. And then on top of that, it helps with your concentration. You know, you've really got to focus when you're doing a plank, concentrate on your breathing, make sure it's nice and steady. Anyway, that's a quick insight into our Back to Basics session. If you want to know anything, um, please feel free to ask any questions. We're always here to help you. Really keen to help people on their journeys to access fitness and, and help them with their health and wellbeing journey. So, Whatever you're doing today, you have an awesome day and we will see you soon. Take care. Bye.